What is up guys, Simon Feast here. It's game four of the Eastern Conference game as the Bucks play against the Sixers. We're not sure what's gonna happen right now, but let's find out in game four if the Sixers can tie it up. If not, then the Bucks take three to one lead over the Sixers. So I have no choice of what just happened here. There are a lot of games showing you every direction that you don't even know what would happen. And for this game, this is something that we've never seen it before here it's as uh, Sixers did play against the Bucks um, in the first season. In season one, not even showing you what uh, what everybody's looking for. But it looks like the Bucks was, uh, has the most money plays in the NBA 2K20. Uh, I think that's what's going to be about. That's what they have a lot of money with any careers that they did and by that moment let's find out the Sixers starting lineups the bells ringing and we're ready to get going starting right now Six foot nine, five, number zero, Josh Richardson. At the power four position, six foot nine inches, number forty two, Al Horfer. The other small forward, then six foot eight, number twelve, Tobias Harris. At point guard position, Six feet, two inches, number 25, Ben Simmons. And your center, number 21, Joel B. And your head coach for the Sixers, Brett Brown. This is game four. Four, everyone. That's right. Wells Fargo Center wants you to get loud enough because it's time to make the rematch come better. As for joining us for this uh, broad night of the game, we're sure which team could do better. DA, let's have an update for you. Well, the process in Philly has finally started yielding big results. The Sixers have star players and tremendous fans who stood by them through the lean years and they're ecstatic at what they're seeing on the court. There are a handful of elite teams in the East, Kevin, but the Sixers are confident they belong with the best of them. They certainly, they certainly did, did, including Joel Embiid, first draft in 2014. But for all it takes to hear about Brooke Lopez was putting out so many points here at that game, since no nothing just killed the momentum, and it definitely did have a hard shot at that moment. For the starting lineups, it will be all five starters on the court. The key matchup is Tobias Harris against Chris Middleton in a small forward position. Then we have it's Ben Simmons against Eric Bledsoe. Then it's Jacupo against Al Horford. Mike Budenholzer with a second career season, and he's with Brett Brown. Then it is Brooke Lopez against Joel Embiid. Then Josh Richardson against Wesley Matthews. And finally, Al Horford against Anstikupo. Here we go, game four. The Sixers wins the tip-off here, and we start now. Oh, hold it on. Richardson's got the ball already. Great recover here for Al Horford to put it up here. That, one, that first shot for Embiid, no good, and it missed out opportunity again. Bledsoe going up. Great rebounding by Embiid to put it back in. I don't like which statement do I really like to pick, but, it, but it's really hard to keep it going from here. Richardson passes to Simmons. He bounced past Al Horford. Shoots over Giannis. Giannis making the tough, solid D. Pass to Bledsoe. Pass to Brooke Lopez. Oh, crushed out on the court. Almost went slipping injured already. But not just enough time to uh, keep it going. 
to Simmons. Simmons with the wide open look. No shot here for Ben Simmons. Matthews going back the other way. Saladi, but it recovers. Oxtacupo with a reversing layup. 5.50 left to go in the first period. That's the first basket for Oxtacupo. Commentators Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and Kevin Arlen are on their side. Horford passing it to Harris. Pass it to Horford. Shoots over Giannis. Very late, but didn't work out well. Oda 4 still needs some looking offense to go back with. Oh, Giannis picks up a dunk and slams it down hard. He really wants that trophy. You really got to know what he's doing. Shoots up, and it's denied by Giannis. Yeah, trying to get going. He's trying to get it good, not just going to be doing it too much. Middleton sends up the three. A little An assist by Giannis. Some confidence. Yeah, it feels like they're just Richardson going back the other way. Looking to build out their advantage even further. They're coming up to pick up a screen. Al Horford finds one. Passes up to Al Horford. Shots good. Brooke Lopez with the first personal foul. Shrugging off the foul, but this is not how it's supposed to look like, but it is. But it comes in handy for uh, for Al Horford to take the first basket of the night. Al Horford is even better on defense. Not a volume shot blocker or rebounder, but he's strong, agile, and always in the right place. Showing strong. Definitely how, how this is happening. So one shot will be Al Horford. Find the lane. One shot. He delivers one and has th three points on the board. Communication and positioning. Yeah, offense is trying to force. I love Horford. That, that's what we notice about him. That because everybody loves Horford, transferring from Celtics to Sixers. Antetokounmpo gets another shot. First quarter basketball. Deep pass to Harris. Didn't seem like he was going to start running in, but he's going to have to like wait. Going back is Ben Simmons. Rolls over to Richardson. Richardson outside. Richardson pass to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Suits up. Giannis with a solid D. That's fourth rebound of the game. The defense has done a good job of forcing. Suits up Matthews for three. It's missed. That's the first miss for uh, for uh, for the Bucks as Wesley Matthews couldn't save it. Richardson the pass to MB. Richardson to MB. Back to Richardson. Going back to MB. Shoots over Brooke Lopez. The Sixers cannot pick up another rebound. And here comes the fast break. Blexo makes a three. Timeout called by the Sixers. And they're going to talk things over. Not picking up a good D. But I did not see what the game was supposed to look like. This is like happening at the first time of the game that the Sixers are just having a hard time keeping it back in to make it alive again. But it's not moving up until the, the last game was being uh, presented. All I need to know is uh, keep an eye on the players so they can get there in time. Well, all of a sudden, this, this is, doesn't look like a very good uh, game to, to, to pick up more. More, uh, more pick and rolls and doing everything again. That's what we got to do. So here we have new substitutions as Max Buse is checked out and DiVincenzo is checked in. Suits up. Ben Simmons, the first dunk. What was the response? He pushed it. Yeah, he's pushing the ball. That, that's what you got to do. Ashtakumbo against Horford. Ante Kumpo looking a man to find an open. DiVincenzo will take a look at the first drive. Here's a shot and pass to Brooke Lopez. And there we got a foul on Joel Embiid. So two free throws is up for Brooke Lopez. 
Well, no, for losing it. It seemed like it's not a good game for the Sixers to be going out. And 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. Two shots, it's Brooke Lopez. First shot for Brooke Lopez is good. An effective low post score. Connaughton and Hill are checked in for Middleton and Bledsoe. to prove his worth in his league. Ben Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Hill comes in for Eric Bledsoe. One shot left. Both he hits two. From Lopez. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him. Three minutes down by. Sixers trail by eight. Simmons against Hill. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Outside. Pass to Scott. It's stolen by Hill. Unloads. For a two. The first missed shot for DiVincenzo is no good. Who's got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers? Trailing here. Pass up by MB. Passing it back to Robinson Defer. Going back is Fievel. Fievel take the drive. The foul going on for Lopez. His second, two, second team foul on Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez wasn't seeing that coming. It, this was like, what What does he have to do? Brooke Lopez would have just discussed it before. He said, he said, Maybe those players are, are arguing me that I never got a chance to just show up to, to be the good defender. This game might be a little bit more contested. If I ha if I ruled this court, I would officially do my best. First shot for five is good. He's checked in for the 76. And now Elisopas checked in for Brooks Lopez. As Antetokounmpo switches to the center. And then Simmons is checked out, and then Burks is checked in. Fievel hits two free throws, and they are trailing by six. Leading by six. Hill past Ailey Sofa. Ailey Sofa coming in. The first drive is good. First shot attempt. Fleshing out his interior game bit by bit. Ilya Sova knows. Berg's past the five ball. Well, Ersan Ilya Sova, a bit of a journeyman in the NBA, Greg, the last handful of seasons. Two minutes class, to go. And he can chip in for a 20 point game every so often. Now, here is Robinson. He had a oh, going over Connaughton. against Detroit. It was the, little the game was off logs, off balance, but didn't shoot really well. Anyway, and George Gill grabs the two. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. We're jumping out to an impressive early lead. Here's Bible. Bible basking up to Burks. Burks looking around. And B going with the screen. Now the best win B. Almost had it. Oh, it dares a takeaway. Bucks on the break. Guys in for three with a long shot. Good. This is by Hill. And the Bucks are still ex are extending the lead. Milwaukee. Strong at both ends of the floor. And this might be a tough battle between uh between the Bucks and the Sixers. Another shot for Connington's good. Timeout Sixers. And the story here, Kevin, early on. Looks like Connaughton definitely had that two shots since back in college when he played in Notre Dame. I think he's doing really well. So both teams are making some changes here as Scott finds a uh, finds Kostakupo with, uh, with a sub out and and, uh, and and Robin Lopez checked in. In the third spot. Bucks are in the uh, third place so position by six. Protection. I mean, they rotate and, and a new changing here as uh, as Corkmaz well is checked in for Glenn Robinson the first. On the outside, and Milton is checked in for and continues to be the goal. Here's Milton for Fiebel. Fourteen points from him. Scott going in. SMB going over Robin Lopez. Shot way off. Making another miss, this is crazy how it goes. 
DiVincenzo with the score. Stafford at both ends has hushed this crowd. No, because it's gone dead silent in this arena. What a fantastic performance here on the road. Corbas going the triple. Triples! Good! And first basket will be Corkmaz to take the liver to three from outside. Out of bounds. Out of bounds! Sixer ball! That's gonna be that's gonna be on the buck on Milwaukee, and right now Kyle Corfer is checked in for Pat Connaughton, and Ilya Sofa is checked out as Marvin Williams checks in. Eleven seconds left here in the opening quarter. Seven seconds to go. Kirkma's gonna try to get one. He'll take one. And that will be the end of the first quarter since no buzz beater for Kirkma's. It will be 25 to 10 with a strong move, a shock look by Bucks as Giannis making the run out running glass. Second quarter is next. Well, second quarter is ready to go. Here's, uh, here's George Gill after putting up a first assist of the game uh, since he played with the Cleveland Cavaliers last season. And this season, he wants to start things off in, in, uh, in 2019-20. Joel Embiid grabbed out the second personal foul. Well, this was not good. How uh, how the defenders are not defending the ball right, and it, this should be it should be blocked the ball. You can't just like go on heavy. That would be that would be causing your team to go in the foul. Robin Lopez will go to the line to shoot two. the shooting guard. Robin Lopez hits the first one. Chris, you know a little something about their power forward position. Who do you think will be the best at that position in, in let's say, uh, three, five years from now? Well, it, it, it may be who's the best at that position now will continue to be, and that's, that's Anthony Davis. He, he can do it all. He was a point guard in high school, and, and what that gave him was ball handling skills, lateral quickness, and the mentality of a small guy. We all he only made one, but didn't get the second one in. You just need to believe that you can do it on all ends of the floor. And he can do it defensively, offensively. He can coach. Uh, he could be your trainer as well. Get guys healthy. I think <laughs> he could do it all. Drives good for George Hill. Burks going back the other way with just six very left. Go to the sideline and catch up with Let's catch up on David Aldridge on the sideline. Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive, and that edge is what drives him. It sure is. That sure is going to keep it up in total is what wins. everybody's looking for. Marvin Williams will get it back. Once again. Go again. Robin Lopez with this with a very amazing jump shot, and that will be Marvin's first assist. Big lead, not just on the Marvin scoreboard, Williams. but really in first the rebounding assist. numbers as well. For Milwaukee. Milton looking around, passing it up, rolling it over to Burks. Scott outside. Six on the shot. Shoots over Martin. Marvin, I'm sorry, and Sky will take the first look in uh, shot on the rim. Hill rolling it over to Marvin Williams. 5.18 left, 30 to 14 to score. Bucks still extending the lead. Robin Lopez shoots over Joel Embiid. Lopez, no luck. Lopez with no luck. They gotta do more to get a hand in his face next time. Pass up the Burks. Hill against Burks. There's the Three for Corkmaz. The shot's off. Kyle Corper with the rebound. He could get some about him on the perimeter. They're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned. Corper pass to Hill. Rolls it up. Marvin Williams will take another look. Hill's got three First time out calling by the Sixers. Well, the Williams play great, great point for uh, for Marvin Williams to pull up by through as we were just not configuring out what this game looked, will look like. But anyways, I'm gonna like keep it uh, keep it in mind and go with a crash and then, and then try to go patient on offense and then go with the series. Go with C point series. 
And then it uh, looks like nothing will happen here if it's going to uh, work right. And we got to run, protect the perimeter, and play conservative. That's what's going to happen. Sixers are making some number changes here. Tobias Harris is checked in for Mike for, for Mike Scott. Al Horford checked in for Joel and B. And then it's Richardson checking in by Milton. And Simmons checking in with Burks. Shots good for Tobias Harris. First personal foul on Brooke Lopez. Brett, Hill, Brett Brown telling uh, Tobias Harris, uh, saying, good contest shot, but make sure you uh, have your eye on the offense. If somebody, if something gets into you, you try to uh, make it contested. That's it. Get out of the way. Tobias Harris shooting one. Harris makes one. Three points right now on the board. 325 left. Bledsoe against Simmons. Passed up to Brooke Lopez. So that's three fouls on uh, Brooke Lopez, but he needs to be careful. And we got a lot of contact and fouls going on in Sixers as Josh Richardson carries out the first personal foul. And with Chris Middleton, he will go to the line to shoot two. You forget he's still quite young. Yeah, I mean, he really is just starting to enter what should be the prime of what's, his What's the best career. one to, to, make, uh, to make the game, it is a, game even a lot player. better? His skills. Try to, like, keep an eye on the, uh, on the basket so you can get that shot right in the books. And the first shot goes in. Part of the dynamic duo is Chris Middleton and, uh, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Work hard and get it strong. Since the last game of the All-Star, this was happening uh, in 2019 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Both shots good from a strike. But this one's fairly good to uh, see that Chris Middleton was playing a lot of games that he was looking for. A lot of free throws, a lot of shots, doing really well. Trying, but trying to get more aggressive on offense. I think it could be tweaked. Uh, if Four or five left. Passed up to Ben Simmons. Shoots from the elbow. And that is good. Right for the paint. Simmons has got four points after he played uh, with the Milwaukee Bucks in three games. Keep the integrity of the game. And, and if technicals means uh, I get to yell at the referee more. Well, Pass up to Middleton. Middleton, Middleton with no shot at all. I can't do this because it's going to hurt the team. So I'm, I'm not sure about that yet. Simmons passed the court pass. Middleton missed from long range. Harris going in. The drive's good. That's five points for Tobias Harris. Try to rough Harris up all you want. They're pulling out the break. A lot of driving coming in to make contact, but that's how well, that's for how well all the players keep it going. Eric Bledsoe against Simmons. Now here's Bledsoe. Bledsoe up. Shots off the mark. Al Orford will take the first rebound look. 3 05 remaining. Good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. Sixers trail by 13. Kicks to Harris. Here's Court Mons. Defended by Three for Tobias Harris. The triple outside, no good. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. And Chris Middleton making the dunk a lot more better than Antetokounmpo did. Giannis was saying, oh yeah, I think Chris Middleton can do. Wow, Chris Middleton can, can do everything that he does. What a shot he made. It's triples good for Richardson. That will be his first basket. Basket of three. Right from the edge of, of the sideline. Bucks leading by Bucks 12. Lead by 12. Bledsoe against Simmons. Bledsoe he passes up to Middleton. Middleton finds Bledsoe and he puts it up in an assist. Bledsoe's got his second bucket. That's the second bucket of the night. 6 2 0 5 remaining. Forcing the ball into the paint. 
Now to two minutes left on the mark. Simmons up. To triples good for Tobias Harris. So two of those guys made the triple, assist by Ben Simmons. One for Richardson and one for Harris. That shot was off the mark, making spin move here. Just a two. It is a two-pointer. That was a number of points for Josh Richardson. And he's got five with Tobias Harris. A lot of the first quarters are coming in and gone over the years, but that might be a lot more challenging to accept that. Who blocked the pass? And it's taken away by Richardson. Simmons finishes the dunk. What a play this is, as uh, Richardson said, I got, here Ben, take one, finish it off. And then, and then yes, Ben did finish it anyway. 1.15 gone in the second quarter. Timeout, Milwaukee, 38 to 31. Mike Wills is gonna have to talk things over again, once and second time. Looking really off and how, and how lucky to get back into the game. Nothing to, uh, nothing to compare about it. Everybody's doing really well. Now I'm gonna do some. Uh, pick, uh, now I'm gonna go back with the pick and rolls and see what I can do. Uh, nothing else will be my same comparable size as I, as I mentioned already. But I don't think uh, we don't have any other choice to look for. But you know what? If this game wasn't happy enough, then I then I could go ahead and just find something else. But I would like to just not not do anyway. So I'm making some change as um, as I took out. And here's Al Horford. He's going to look 11 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. And I subbed out Kirk Boz right from the alley. 113 left. Ely Sofa still on the court and back in. He passes to Middleton. And Oscar Kumpo is on the court. Oh, good shot here for uh, Eric Bledsoe. That might be the third basket of the night. Simmons guards up by Bledsoe. He goes back to Simmons. There's a screen on Horford. Shoots over Giannis, and there's a double pointer for Simmons to put it back in. Eight points. 40 seconds left. He has the touch to be effective for with a shot, and it went away. Bledsoe with the dunk. Into his own hand. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No. Yeah, just like Giannis and Chris Middleton tried to get there at times, but we never got a chance to look at it. Bible pass to Simmons. Simmons, Harris for three. Triples, good! Another three-pointer for Harris as he picks up 11 points, assist by Simmons. Simmons try to grab it away, but it's recovered by Giannis. Seven seconds to go, going for the dirt drive. With the buzz beater, and Bible will call his first personal foul, went from behind. Eric Bledsoe will go to the line to shoot two. This is his first trip to the line tonight. This will be, yeah, this is his first trip. And he went around, that was not good. How it, how it runs out. Well, one guy needs to uh, needs to be wide open enough and then and try to manage to make that shot. To get that buzz beater down. You can't just go close to the rim. His first shot went off, went in. Middleton's checked out and Corpus checked in. Anstikumpo goes back to the point four position while a sofa switches to the center. Second shot was good and he made it another one. With the buzz beater. 
The last shot for Simmons came off loose. That's the end of the first half, 44 to 36, as the Bucks lead over the Sixers. Alex goes standing over on David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, it seemed like you all were dictating tempo in the first half. How did you do that? Okay, we're getting the stops, grabbing the rebound now, it's trying to push it, trying to get the best shot of that. Problem solved in transition. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, CA. We'll be back with the second half, but the Sixers are trying to find its way to win. We'll be right back. If you're joining us here for the second half, we would like to welcome back here a part of the presentation of the Eastern Conference Matchup Tournament. Checking out what Tobias Harris' score, this was 11 points when his game career was definitely faced out a bit. By that moment, it was not enough to keep, to keep the momentum going. And we, we never realized what just happened about, uh, about Tobias Harris. After last season, he did play with the Clippers. But sometimes he wasn't able to uh, keep it going. What a steal. And it looks like a block pass was uh, coming up loose. Triples. Good. Joel Embiid. This guy's first basket of three in the second half. Assist by Al Horford. Anshikupo going back the other way. Here's the drive. He drove up, and it's in there. That's eight points for Giannis on the road. Now with consistency, five buckets. Simmons going back the other way. He passes up to Richardson. Richardson, the bounce pass to MB. He rolls up to Brooke Lopez. It's rebounded by Brooke Lopez. That's rebound number five for Brooke Lopez. And the drive. Wow, went quick that time. Giannis is looking for himself to win the trophy. But the Sixers are trailing by nine. It's Richardson on the wing. He's covered by Matthews. Warford going over by Harris. And we reach the foul going on Middleton. First foul. And Milwaukee calls the first team foul. What happened here is because of Tobias Harris, Middleton was not just seeing things right. It went it went gripping off the hand and it didn't really serve that much as one time it goes in. But it went pretty hard to go from the, to go from the hard drive to an easy drive. Two shots will be on Tobias Harris. First shot goes in. I mean, look, every year Harris looks more confident. He goes through stretches where he can dominate. He's dominated all of this game. You're right, Greg Anthony. Tobias Harris hits two free throws. And he has 13 points in it for a night. Bucks still lead by seven. Joel Embiid, here he comes. And there's the dunk that we were looking for. Great highlights to show you from points and paints. But Giannis never realized he was doing a three, but not really at all. Also rebounds. Looks like this guy, he's, he's, on, he's on killing it. He's getting on fire, getting really be weak. But, uh, but my L was that time. Triple scoot by Al Horford. That'll be a number assist by Simmons. He has the ability. He definitely realized he was going to good make that shot, but this was what Giannis was making the three. But Al Horford was saying that was like not fair. How does Giannis be was how is Giannis wide open and not getting back into the position? But this time, now he now he's in the corner. No guys are like uh, taunting at him, but it didn't really work it out really well. He went back, he comes in, he goes back, pass, Ben Simmons pass out Horford, and then he shoots, and then there's the triple. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Just left off with five minutes left. Giannis was off the, off the, Giannis is off the streak of the shot. 
Costa Harris. Costa Harris. 4.45 left. Orford going back outside. Here's a shot. And it shoots it in. Al Horford will grab a number two. Has eight points. But Anshikumpo has 12 points. Reaching out to go with uh, 14. Brooke Lopez take the three. Rebounded by Tobias Harris. Harris outside. Harris outside. Bounce pass to Horford. Horford rolling it over to Harris. Harris outside. He shoots up, lays it up in. That's another pointer for Harris. He, he made one of the most shots more easier. It is sometimes, uh, but sometimes with heavy contested shots are just not that, not just great. But it just went off way wider than expected before. And we got a, we got a rejection by MP. Tobias Harris does it again. 17 points for Harris. Great, uh, great pass by, uh, by Al Horford. Just battling back. Wasn't expecting to see that again. So Harris makes a streak with a great pass. A timeout is Milwaukee. 337 left. 50 to 50. A lot of plays. A lot of uh, a lot of good uh, good comeback rallies. You're doing really well. Alright, I have some substitutions right now as Fievel is checked in for Josh Richardson and Mike Scott is checked in for Al Woofer. And the Bucks are also making some switches as the, as Brooke Lopez is checked out and Robin Lopez is checked in. Uh, what a way to make a move, a wrap around here for Giannis. Tobias Harris still has 17 points, but Antetokounmpo has trailing up by 3 points. Milton outside, never had a shot. Shoot it anyway. Milton passes to Harris. Reaching out to be wide open. Milton for the lead. Missed out again as it, as Milton couldn't find his first basket. Hill with just two. And there's a two-pointer. Only a couple rebounds here for uh, for the Sixers as they have 11, but the Bucks have 18 rebounds to pull it up. MB grabs the two. Five points for MB. Assist by especially Burt on the interior. Or is it Milton? I, I don't know. Milton or it's not. George Hill with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. Yeah, Bucks. A two-point game. George Hill going up the drive. And a rejection is sent back by MB. He's around. He's capable of coming up. Here's the three. Triples. Good for Tobias Harris. Another three-pointer. A killing streak was just not enough to pull it from here. You've got to be kidding me. 20? That was ridiculous. I did not realize that Tobias Harris was going to make it through. But he's, he's struggling a little bit but sometimes in game one. Game two and three. He's a hustler and likes Robin Lopez grabs the dunk. Under two minutes left. Burks against Bill. Now here's Burks. Burks last to Milton. Shot clock at six. And the shot's good for Milton. He's got his first basket. Robin Lopez. Who draws his first personal foul. Now Kyle Cooper is checked in for Chris Middleton and all of the players. We saw that with Lisova, Connington, and Demon Judger are checked in. And another switch here as all four players have now. Nibel, Robinson the third, and Scott are checked in. Milton switches to a point guard position. One shot for Milton. And that's good. 139 left here in the Two point break. lead for the Sixers. Ajikubo outside. Pass to Ilya Sofa. 14 points for him. Ilya Sofa. Pass to Corfer. Pass to DiVincenzo. Screen on Ellie Sofa. Shoots over Harris. DiVincenzo ties it up. That's four points in the row. 
they didn't have much of a problem. He didn't, he didn't have enough uh, points to, uh, to score the momentum down. But his game might be very close. Shoots up. And there's the two for Milton. The second bucket. He's got the lead back up to two now for the 76ers. He's back up to two right now as Milton has taken out Once five points. Seven of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Oh, went around. Anzikubo feel like he's not going to give up with the shot, and he wants to keep it going. He doesn't want to miss any shots. He's, well, only one shot made a uh, long losing streak. Losing point streak. But this was not happened already. Fiveball rolling over to Milton. High post and B. I beat him, and it's two pointer good up inside by free throw line. Seven points for Embiid. On Sukumbo going back the other way. Twenty seconds to go. Ooh, back pass. Corbett didn't handle another shot. Five ball going back the other way. Ten seconds to go. Here is outside. Three seconds. And he'll leave it off from here. And no luck with that time. End of the third quarter. 62 to 60. As Tobias Harris takes 20 points. A killer shot. This is like happened already ago. But we'll be back with fourth quarter. And it's all next on Eastern Conference Championship Games. Time to bring you right now the State Farm Assist of the Game. One of the passes that we were seeing before, Ben Simmons and Al and Tobias Harris. And when that drive was just the only way that was coming in, he realized he would have been all right. And, said, and he, he would have agreed with Ben Simmons. Tobias Harris said, Ben Simmons is definitely the best rookie of the year play, rookie player that I've ever seen since 2019. That I started after finishing with the Clippers. It wasn't really hard to uh, keep it going from the game that we really like. And I really love how Ben Simmons did play out since 2016 after he played in college at LSU. So that was the uh, that was the ultimate of uh, ultimate rookie player of Ben Simmons that he was definitely working on. But for Tobias Harris, he played with the Clippers. After the follow up by Al Horford and Giannis Antetokounmpo with 18 points, Richardson going up and back the other way. 6:20 left. Al Horford rolling back the other way. He bounced past the Fiebel. Shoots over Connaughton. That shot's good. And another two pointer for five balls. And then they lead by four. Assist by Al Horford. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. We're just down to six minutes to go. Court for a pass to Eli Sofa. Oh, and we got a projection here for Al Horford. 5.50 left, Embiid against the Greek Freak. He rolls it in. The drive went unsuccessful. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. Here's the one. Yo, alley -oop off. And it's out of bounds. Yep. Kyle Corker didn't seem like nobody was up in the air and going for the alley -oop, but it went unsuccessful. Four players have subbed out, four players have checked in. Gold Brook Lopez, Wesley Matthews, Connington, and it's, Dante, and it's Eric Bledsoe. Simmons passes up to Al Horford. Here's Shoots it up. Defense is right there. It's rebounded by AMB. Pass up to Cork Moss. Shoots up. Foul will go on Connaughton. Next upcoming game for the Sixers, they will be back at back away at Milwaukee against against the Bucks in Game Five. Then, if game necessary, then it will be Game Six for the Sixers back at home playing against the Milwaukee. And if it's necessary, then it will be Game Seven for Milwaukee Bucks against the Sixers. 
First free throw is good for Cork Moss. And if they continue, Kevin, Milton is checked in for Connaughton. That'll help them. See that will help them uh, Chris succeed. Chris uh, to the succeed for the key to success for the winning of the game. Sucker free throws good. Bucks Five ten Bucks left. Bucks trail by six. Bucks well, it's a who against Simmons. Bucks Bucks shoots it up. It flies up. And it's Bucks missed again. Bucks as Richardson picking Bucks up his first Bucks rebound. Bucks and that will be the third of five. Four fifty left. Bucks Simmons up. Shots good, and there is a bucket for 10 points for Simmons. Assist by Richardson. Of course, uh, what he needs to know about is his shooting ability. He can make it any, anything he wants to do. But he has to be himself open here and find his shot along the way. Middleton! Oh, he made the three in time! They're catching it up by five. It's a lazy effort. 423 left. Open the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Simmons pulling over to Embiid. Embiid shot good. Assist by Simmons. Six assists in the game. Six assists in the game for Simmons. His offense has returned. Now here's Matthews. here, three minutes in. Only four or five left to go. Wesley Matthews is going back. No jump ball yet. Now, and that's another miss here for Wesley Matthews. He's going to take it. At least he'll so grab it back. And they're going to retry it again. Wesley Matthews finally gets the bucket. A timeout will be called by Philly Sixers. And yes, they are going to get some hydration here for by those two teams. Wasn't really sure what's going to happen here, but Wesley Matthews finally got his first basket. Sixers call time here. Mike Scott, Mike Scott's checked in for Embiid, and Al Horford has switched into the center guard position. But what do we know? Here's DA. What Brett Brown said to his team. He said, "I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does." Kevin. Oh, and we got a foul going on with just saying the shock is good for Antetokounmpo. What do they need to do? And the offense has do they need to leave him? Josh Richardson needs to leave him. In the open floor. Yeah, that's the one area where they've had an One shot left for Antetokounmpo. Too many other aspects of this game. And that's what's happening here about the Greek Freak trying to get Furious to go from the mug range. His first shot's good. You know, we One free throw shot's good. Talent is. And it's true. For unrivaled athleticism. Pass up by Scott. Now, here's Scott. Here's Scott. 315 left. Here's Richardson. Richardson trying to make a screen to help Horford out. Shoots over Brooke Lopez and it's carried out away. That's a deeper pass for Bledsoe. Timeout, Philly. Under three minutes, pulling up by. Much careers are pulling out way too soon for each player to keep up the, with the back to back wins all over a row. <laughs> and these rows are just not just a good idea to keep that one going. I'm just getting, I'm just going to get there in time. I'm going to have to find out what just happened here. And I'm going to need to see, find a focusing player on Chris Middleton, make sure there's nothing inside. And that's it. That's where we need to find a player to, uh, to give up on and guard somebody. And focusing on one of each players. You know what? Since of that, I don't, I don't have any choices to make anything going back in. I'm so, I'm looking out, focus all, all the players to look for. Everybody has to focus, every player. 
Now we got a moment to take a look at the State Farm assist of the game. Giannis Antetokounmpo. On his charge of a shooting, what his career needs to be looking for is his ability to shoot more careers than last time. And most improved player, that was Tobias Harris, that realizing that he was streaking every shot he made. 250 left, 72 to 72 is your score, and they are even. Or Middleton, and there's a tiebreaker with an un with a breakdown of cork balls. Shots good for Ansikopo. They're tying it back again. 23 points for uh, Giannis. Richardson with an eye on the look. He finds Corkmaz. Take the three. It's offline, and there's a number rebound for uh, Giannis. Bledsoe up. He did help him out. But the Yana Chikupo definitely took it up in the lead. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact. I'm going to find a motion to put up in here, just under two minutes to go. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score on this He passes Scott. He passes back to Richardson. 3 for Corkmaz. Rebounded by Simmons. What kind of layup is that? That was not real. 7-11 on the floor. They're going to stop the call for, for 129 left. First foul going on on Al Horford. Timeout in Milwaukee. Wesley Matthews checked out. D. Vincenzo checked in. And now we're going to need to fix it up a bit. We're just under a minute and a half to go. So nothing players keep keep it going on with the momentum to go for from here. And I'm just really serious. It is not what we need to know about. Yeah, let's go with favorite play series. Patiently, we gotta push that pace a little bit more. We need to crash that offensive board. And we gotta and you know what we gotta focus on? We gotta focus on Anthony Kumpo. Make sure he's not grabbing anything back in. And watch uh, the box. Watch the boxes and elbows. Make sure, actually, nothing inside. Box and elbows and jazz. I will take that. But I'm not going to uh, give up on my pace anymore. Yep, here are some players that are in the Hall of Fame for the Sixers and retired. Next foul will be a one-on-one. Missed again, I'm, and B grabs that rebound. Well, there not be, there's not going to be a two-on-one that we were looking for. Passing on B. He passes up to Tobias Harris, going for the drive. Oh, Greek freak! Oh! And it looks like a shot clock. Ah, oh, no shot called here. MB was getting a little disappointed. Brett Brown getting angered up. And so it's Milwaukee. And so here's Milwaukee. It's taken away by Simmons, and they're going to tie it up. Yes, the foul's going to be on Antetokounmpo. And Archie Kumpo, wow, he seems like getting a little bit up, a little bit shocked up and getting upset of saying, why was it fouled on me? Not even that, Tom, because Ben Simmons is going to take a tie. We're not sure what this is going to happen, but this is going to be very tough. First shot goes in. And for Ben Simmons, his best career was just the only time All-Star that uh, he would have been played in back in last year, 2019. But a lot of games are just coming out easy. One shot left. And he made two and tied it up. Ben Simmons has 12 points right now on the board. Not for that, just 45 seconds to go. 
44 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Last call. Oh my goodness. And looks like on Stokopo sending out game five to win the game and be the Eastern Conference champions. Not for long. Embiid with the layup drive, assist by Simmons. And a lot of fans are cheering loud than expected. Still tied up. Anstikupo lost the ball. Now they're gonna walk. Uh, now they're gonna fight. Now, now they're gonna uh, leave it alone. MB trying to find out to win. They go for the lead in game four. Simmons taking the three. And there will going to be a timeout called by the last timeout by Milwaukee with 5.2 seconds. I'm serious. This might be a very tough chargeable if they wanted to go to overtime. You know what 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 happened. We know this will happen. We know that this will be a challenging game since season one of 2017. Or I say 2017. You don't know. But it looks like I'm going to need to uh, go for one of the shooters open and then go for the last segment to get from here, push the pace, and, and then uh, we got to limit this one. This is the end of it. And if this is not going to be a good, if it's not good enough, then uh, we got to fix it up a little bit. Last substitutions here for the, uh, for the Bucks. Going to finish. But one timeout left here for the Philly if they could make the lead by one or tied it up to go to overtime. They trail by two. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now for this time, one more time. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make this one into a, a big, tough, uh, tough look here. I'm going to break out the, uh, I'm going to put the Philly elbow, the last one to go for and we gotta get one of the shooters open who, who can nail the shots and win the game. This is it. If they don't win, just like game three, then the game is already over. So that's it, no timeouts remaining for, for each team. And B with the finish, yo! As the Bucks came out with an upset game, and the Sixers fans went wild of how Embiid made. Wow, what a game this is for Joel Embiid and all the players. So that's it for my game, folks, and I am done with the game. So thank you guys for so much for watching, and yes, I will calm down right now. I'm not making too many excitements. That's it. So with that, thank you guys for watching, and like I just said before, the Jordan player of the game was Giannis, and most improved player was Tobias Harris. So thank you guys for watching, and so until next time, peace out, it's for as well as the NBA Eastern Conference style. See you in Game 5.